Hey, thanks for joining me again. I hope you guys are all good. So today's lesson is gonna be a groove and it's a really funky one. I absolutely love it. It's kind of got the DNA of a halftime shuffle, but without so many hi-hats. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is three hits on a hi-hat. It's gonna be the first and last note of an eighth note triplet followed by a quarter note. One and two. One and two. One and two. And we're gonna add a bass drum underneath the first note. Then we're gonna repeat that pattern and add a snare drum underneath instead. So far so good, right? So here's the cool bit. On that last hi-hat on beat four, we're gonna add a ghosted snare followed by a bass drum to form three eighth note triplets. So hi-hat, left on snare, bass. So that's all we're doing. Cool, let's put it all together. That's all it is. Try it with me. One, two, a three, and four, and. And again, three, and four, and. Then we're gonna repeat that pattern. So that's it for the first two bars of this phrase. The struggle for you might be gluing those two bars together because we've got that right hand, that snare drum, that bass drum, and then another bass drum that's quite quick. So if you're struggling to put that together, just pay your attention to beat four and beat one of the bar. And just that hi-hat and bass drum on beat one. So it's right, left, bass, bass. Right, left, bass, bass. Right, left, bass, bass. Right, left, bass, bass. That's what you want to practice. So I'd say pause and practice that. Try and get that nice and neat, those two bars together. And now we're going to take a break from the crazy shuffliness. Personally for me, I think it sounds more musical if you take away the intensity for a little bit and just leave a little bit of space. So the first two bars, we're gonna play exactly what we just learned. The second two bars, same pattern on the hi-hat. We're just gonna put the bass drum in different places. So bar three is gonna be. So on beat four of the bar, we're adding an extra bass drum. One and two, three, four. 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 So that leaves us with bar four. Exactly the same on the hi-hats, but this time the bass drum's gonna be on beat two. And then we have snare on beat three. So the fourth beat of the bar is going to be the right left bass triplet that we did in bars one and two. So all in all, bar four is And again. So bars three and four are now. And again. One more time. Right, now it's time to put all four bars together after four. One, two, a three, and four, and. Okay, so I'd say the tempo we're aiming to achieve today is 100 beats per minute. That's a nice groovy tempo, I'd say. Let's start uh, at 70 and see how we get on with that. So one, two, three, four. Cool. 
Cool, let's bump that up 10 BPM to 80. Again, if you're struggling at this speed, I'll always say it, go back to the tempo that you found comfortable and just go up one BPM to get to where we wanna go, which at the moment is 80. So one, two, three, four. Okay, 90. So one, two, three, four. Here we are, final tempo, 100. Did I just do that? I haven't done that since like the noughties. <laughs> 100 beats per minute, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Don't be afraid to what I fell either. One, two. If you feel I got that, let's jam with some music. Do you know the drill? I will play along with myself. Please join in. If you feel that helps, then afterwards we'll take away the drums and you can try it on your own. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, and flip. Cool, if you felt like you'd do that on your own, let's give it a go after four. One, two, three, four. Cool, so I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly really enjoyed teaching that one to you. It's a really, really cool groove. Please show me what you can do with it. You know, DM me, email me, whatever. Love to see it. Take care. I will see you next time.